Welcome to Football Navigator as we bring you the latest newcomers in our already star student side of PSL players who have gone broke. With the likes of Junior Kanye, Old John Mabizela, Steve Ligolea and Benedict Villagazi already on the list of PSL stars who have gone broke. But before we resume, please take your time to like this video as well as sharing it across all soccer fanatics. Former Orlando Pirates defender Siawonga Sangweni was forced to take an early retirement than we all expected. Injuries ruled the KwaZulu Natal born player out of the game, but his age was also close to an retirement stage. Sangweni also played for the national team and did very well, but since he took his retirement, we have not seen any support for him. Orlando Pirates and Golden Arrows are not giving or offering him any gigs. SABC or any other sports channel are not inviting him for interviews or TV job to analyze games, no coaching posts are presented to this soldier of a defender. Rumors emanating from KwaZulu Natal and his recent pictures are getting the football nation worried about him. The former Orlando Pirates great is often seen lingering around the streets in KwaZulu Natal with supporters not totally sure whether the player went broke or he is just aging. Following these rumors, Football Navigator investigated the matter and it has been reported that the player is now bankrupt. Tabiso, also known as Skapi Malachi, was a skillful and talented former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder who could also score goals. Off the field, Skapi is another person who was so generous. He could give out even his clothes. He liked to share his money and happiness around people. Malachi also did not have a good background in terms of his family and that also affected him as a human being. The player has now gone broke with nothing to show off his soccer career. William Fraze has joined the list of ex-soccer players that have been left with nothing to show after their football careers but only memories. Besides battling with the health challenges, the former Shiwelele midfielder is also battling financially, which has forced him to work as a gardener at the Maaun Club. The Bloemfontein legend said that I have nothing to show for the money that I got playing football. If I want something, I have to go lay by. I cannot even watch television right now because I can't afford it. I don't have a television because I don't have the money to buy. If you come to my place, you will cry because there is nothing to show that I was once a professional football player. Former Orlando Pirates bad boy Noti Mukwena has reportedly gone broke. This is the man who was sent back home from the 1998 World Cup in France for sneaking out of Bafana Bafana camp to go out clubbing with teammate Brendan Augustine. The former Pirates dribbling wizard now works for a printing company called Electric Image in Renbeck. Noti has been working for the company for close to a year now and up to today it is not quite clear what his position is. Former Orlando Pirates player Junaid Hadley went broke after he used most of his hard-earned wealth to cut ties with his former club Orlando Pirates. The incident unfortunately cut in deep into his finances and that dragged him to use drugs. After a decade of drug abuse and sleeping on the streets, the 42-year-old currently coaches the under-11 team at the Education Thara Soccer Academy known as ETA in Remsach, west of Johannesburg. 
Former Amazulu player David Mtawarera went broke after his exit from the beautiful game to a point where he found himself begging on the streets for food and money. He was mostly found in Captain Park. Other Zimbabwean football players like Tendai Ndoro would visit him and make sure that he gets something to eat, but the former Amazulu player will sometimes reject their help, probably because he felt like they were doing it to just to spite him. The footballer later died in 2019 and was laid to rest in his native Zimbabwe. Former Mamilodi Sundance legend Lavas Mutala has revealed that he went broke just after three months after he retired from professional football. The former Sundance player said that at one point I bought two similar BMWs. People did not understand but I was buying for business. I wanted them to be hired. I was always in the news for the wrong reasons. There was a time I was late for camping at sundowns and I claimed that I was kidnapped. I took a gun and shot my takeys claiming I was shot by the kidnappers. After football, I went broke and did not have anything. I didn't have a car. I got broke after three months. Lavas Mushala is now a family man and lives in Johannesburg together with his children and his wife. They stay in a farm where Lavas Mushala claims that he owns a few cows. Former Orlando Pirates and Ajax Cape Town striker Tembinko Terra Fantini's life is now Terra. In 2014, the former striker confessed that I have nothing so far and I need to take care of my responsibilities as a man. At the moment, my wife is taking care of things but I don't want to relax. I'm training with the guys in the townships so that I can keep fit and prepare myself for any call-up. At least unlike other people whose cars were repossessed, I sold mine. I also know that my enemies are celebrating, but I won't be put down. I know that I will soon get a break. Unfortunately, from 2014 until now, things have not get better for the former striker. His wife and children has apparently left him and the striker is living in terror alone.